Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, January 10, 2023. For me, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Solution of a difficult problem, an LR circuit connected to a battery, and <laughs> many of you wrote, oh, this is very simple for me, no problem at all. So then I said, well, send me the solutions. <laughs> they were always wrong. Okay, but be it as it may, about uh, 12 people got A and B correct. Only about five had all answers A, B and C correct. C is the most difficult. So let's take a look. An LR circuit connected to a battery of voltage V0 at time T equals zero is given by this equation. I have derived that in my lectures and ta here is L over R. L is 0 0.09 Henry, R is 0 0.05 ohms. So ta is 1.8 seconds. So A, the final value of the current is simply V0 over R. And alpha is 0 0.05. It is the condition that current has reached 95% of its final value which can then be expressed in the following way. So read this. So I just define alpha as e to the minus t over tau and I'll pop the value for t. So it takes about 5.4 seconds which is the correct answer to, to A. Now B. The total energy in a self-inductor is one half L I squared, also covered in my lectures. So if you work that out, you will find approximately 2300 joules, more precisely, but that's not so very important, it is 23339 joules. Okay. Let's now go to C. The power delivered by the battery at any instant is P as a function of time, which is V0 times I as a function of time. So changes in time. So it is V0 divided by R times this function. To find the total energy W delivered by the battery up to time T, which I found in part A, we integrate, we integrate this P of T, we call it T prime here, from 0 to T. And we find it is approximately 10,600 joules. More precisely, about 10,630 joules. I mention this last answer because many of you have 10,600 and uh, that maybe, 
that maybe because have made they have made a mistake. Uh, maybe not, but it could be that they have made a mistake. I therefore add it also more precisely, 10,000, about 10,630. This was, in my book, a difficult problem. And the fact that there are only about five perfect solutions shows that very clearly. For those of you who wouldn't even touch this, several people said, I never touch any problems with there is a self-inductance. Well, if you can follow this, you may learn some physics. If you cannot follow it, that's okay. That's fine. It's not a high school problem. And whether you can do this problem or not makes no difference for me. We'll be friends in 2023. Anyhow, that's, a, that's the strongest conservation law in physics and even beyond 2023.